Hey guys, it's the Epic Player 90 here, and today it is time for race. Uh, disappointing race. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I don't even know. The Pocono 500 in the ShopRite 2003 season. As we remember the preseason 50 that took place at Pocono, only eight cars finished the race, and Tony Stewart was the winner. Here are your point standings heading into the race. 12 cars are within a race. That's likely going to change. And the main story for me is, will Robbie Gordon make the, his first race since his win at Talladega? I doubt it. Asher Byron leads the points by 9 over no L. So, oh, this is going to be a horrible day. No, I don't know. Why is there practice? There's no practice. Who's going to get the pole? Drivers, to your cars. Let's find out who gets the pole. Aaron Abel gets his fifth pole. I was about to say if Josh Turner gets a pole. Hey, but look. Eric Drew's in here. As I forgot to show you the entries. as And Robbie Gordon can't ma make races. Carrie Earnhardt and Jason Hedleski back-to-back entries. Ward Burton misses another race. That's his second race missed. The unlucky last placer is Jim Sales. <laughs> is he going to win? Sun GMC. Not a nice day to be the former Hendrick cars. But Aaron Abel, the pole leader, just continues to rack up Drivers. the pole. Driver, your engines. What? continues to rack up those poles there's going to be a wreck on lap one if there isn't i will be surprised aaron abel can be in contention to win this race if enough cautions come out and he's not involved and he keeps his track position i'm just guessing there's going to be like 50 cautions anyway aaron abel is going to lead into the green once again the inside line gets a great jump green flag is out josh turner behind sterling marlin started four okay and here comes Kerner going for the lead. Turner right to the... Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, the leader. Hedleski. Zena's in the wall. I knew it. Oh, is it going to be worse? Oh, we got a spin in the front. Marlin's around. Oh, yeah, caution's out. Who's going to win back to the caution? The th three rookies are in the top three. Here's Rob Rohde for some reason. Turner leads. Is are gonna are they gonna wreck on the this trial? I don't see any smoke. Oh, Abel got pushed up high. Oh, why are they also going super high? Josh Turner though is gonna win back to the caution. What a lad! Not too bad of a wreck as I thought. As it looks like Logan Revler and Mike and ORT Racing got a bit into a. What is going on? Oh, the frame rate. <laughs> Jason Hedleski, Zhang Zian, and Winford Bradford Rutherford were involved in turn one here. What happened to the zero? Looks like the seven. Oh, he gets hit by the 90. Luke Anderson. Luckily, Luke doesn't get into a giant wreck again. As Rutherford just got really held up. And I don't know what happened to the 40, but he seemingly just got dumped. But I'll check that in a minute. Let's see what happened to ORT Racing and Logan Revelers. Eric Drew's trying to get back into the line. Oh, it looks like they hit the wall or something. Let me see. Do they hit the wall or get forced? Lolo's art. Nice. Looks like Schrader gets hit by Reveler. Yeah, they were four wide and Oxen just hit the wall there. Okay, that didn't cost too much. Let's check out what happened to Sterling Marlin. We'll see if they have pit stops. <laughs> uh, wow, look at this. This was three wide for lead. Oh, my goodness. Drew... Luckily, he didn't hit the wall, so he won't have basically any damages. Looks like I was able to catch them before pit stops. Look at four of the five rookies are in the top five. Turner leads Abel second, Rody third, Kerry Earnhardt's fifth. While the other rookie, Jean... Oh, wait, no, I forgot there's some more rookies. James Meteor's in the middle of the field, while Zhang Zina is in the back. Some cars are staying out. Points leader Asher Byron staying out. 
Um, John Wills out here. Dave Blaney, Jerry Nadu. And I believe that's it. So let's see who's going to come out of pit road first. Who's going to have their best strategy? Okay, who's the first one out of their stall? That's all I... Uh, what, the oh! Turner and Drew! Oh, no! What just happened? Turner just tried to come out, and him and Drew slammed, and then he hit Aaron Abel's bumper. Oh, that is awful for Turner's. Rob Rohde is out of pit road first. Oh, Josh Turner just got hit again on pit road. What? Oh, man. Well, there's Josh Turner's day up in smoke, because I don't know what they are doing, honestly. They're going to probably wreck in, like, two seconds, so... Josh Turner leads the first lap, first two, I bet, and, and he's going to... Oh, Logan Revler also didn't pit. And it's, his day is probably done. Just like that. I have not skipped because I'm trying to see if they're going to wreck. Like, look at James Muir. Like, what are they doing, man? Like, even what the heck is going on? Rob Rohde. I know Aaron Abel got out before him. But it looks like the top five did not hit. So, that's good. I don't know what Luke Anderson is trying to do, but he is. he must have some issue with the car. Looking for his 10th DNF of 2003. Good gosh, man. Uh, looks like, yeah, he retired. He must have just had too much damage. Jason Hedliski retired, and Josh Turner's time ticker thing is broken. So, that's nice. We're going green on lap six. Um, green flag is out. Can I hit the screen? Yeah. Looks, yeah, Turner. Oh, man, that sucks. He's going to fall out in points. He was 26th, I believe. As the green flag comes out, here comes Dave Blaney, the inside of John Will, who had a strong resurgence at Auto Club. Um, but he fell back toward the end. And Blaney just got dumped. Oh, Nadu and Blaney. Oh, Blaney's going to cause a wreck unless he slows down right now. Why does he have so much speed in the grass? If this was real, he'd just be up in the air. Oh, and a Craven in the green, and they wreck. Smith, oh, Chev. Oh, it's going to be a big one. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, JoJo up in the air. That was just like Dover. That did not need to be as big as it was. Oh, what the heck? Jonesy and Tom Sloan doesn't flip. And looks like the leader at the line is Asher Byron. Oh, Chev, what? How did Chev get back going? Well, we already all know what happened to Blaney, so we're just going to go. Look, you see, he gets into Craven Smith in the wall hard. Looks like he saved it afterward. Let's see. Um, he just hits the wall and keeps going. Yeah, and look at that. This is just ridiculous right here. Good gosh, I hate Pocono in this game. If you have the opponent's strength too high. If you don't, it's actually a pretty good race. What are they doing? What the heck? They're going way too fast heading in. Asher Byron's probably going to pit. Yeah, cars are pitting. Lots of them. Aaron Abel's going to stay out. Josh Drake, who for some reason still was in the top. Look at that, Craven. A whole bunch of guys are gone. But probably more are going to be gone. Let's see if... Hopefully we don't have an on-pit road collision that took out the driver in the lead, like Turner. Who's going to come out first? Luke Anderson had a great starting spot. Rody came in again. This is probably going to be a four-tire stop, as Tom Sloan just called it quits, unfortunately. Carrie Earnhardt, what? Carries out first. Oh, man, is Drew going to cause another mishap? Oh, he slowed down, Will. That was that one was almost bad. Drew's gone. Jimmy Reed stays going. Chris Frable. Jim Sales. The points. No, he was not the points leader. Sorry, he was close to the points leader. I think he was fourth. He's gone. That's his fourth DNF. 
Carson and Blaney are gonna get. I'm surprised Carson's still in here. MC, what just what? Did MC run out of fuel? Yeah, I think MC ran out of fuel. Let's see how stupid they're gonna be now. Meanwhile, Aaron Abel is finally gonna get laps led. Unfortunately, they're under caution as we have 22 cars left. Surprisingly, Fernand Rev and Carson are still in here. Lolo's Art defending winner, last week's winner, or last race winner, is going to be rewarded with 25th. There's another fuel leak, and it's MC, so that's why he was stopped on the track. And they're going to be going green on lap 11. I'm sorry, guys. Green flag is out for Aaron Abel. He's going to lead, but here comes Drake to the inside. With Jarrett. Oh my gosh, dude. Come on. Please don't make it worse. Don't make it worse. Okay. Drake cautions obviously out. Drake might be able to keep going as Dale Jarrett leads to but Elliot Monroe up the second. Oh, they're gonna wreck behind him. They're gonna wreck. Oh drive. Oh, and Dreddy's off the track. Andretti's gone. Oh, Fred. Oh, my gosh. Stop. 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 Andretti's just destroyed. I don't know what happened to him, but... Coming off the final corner. They're trying to stay clean. It's going to be Dale Jarrett. We already saw what happened to Drake. Let's just happen what... Let's see what Andretti had to deal with. Oh, he just... Oh, he just died. Yeah, I can't click the play button. I'm sorry. Look at this. Oh, he tried to keep going, he just could not there. At least, at least he didn't collect anyone else. Is Drake, is he gonna call it quits? That's my question. Fastest lap is Rob Rody, but they haven't had more than one green flag lap in, so. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> or Josh Drake, he was mid-pack, I believe. No, he was toward the front. Is he gonna try to repair his damage? It doesn't look like it's too much. No, he's done. Josh Drake will be rewarded with a 22nd place finish. As we got more pit stops. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to have green flag stops, by the way. Who's going to come out first? Nadu. Nadu's gone. Nadu is going. He's a T-1000. Is anyone going to beat him off? No, Nadu's gone. Oh, Rody. No, Nadu's gone. Nadu's going to be uh, the leader off there. Rody. John Will. Fernanksa Fernanra, who's leaving. Dale Jarrett. James Carson. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised Aaron Abel's still in this field. <laughs> Looks like Jimmy Reed and Asher Byron were the only ones to stay out. John Andretti has called it quits. He will be rewarded with 21st. Um, If we have more than 15 cars finish this race, I will be extremely surprised. Ken Schrader is still in the field. So yeah, if you're good enough to dodge the wrecks, you have an, a shot at winning this race. Green flag is back out on lap 16. Oh, the wire drivers going on the inside. What is they doing? What are they doing? Barry Nadu to the inside of Jimmy Reed. Oh man, they're sliding. They're sliding. They're sliding. Get off Reed. Get off Reed. Reed's backed off. He's the smartest driver of the day. Oh, Jared's in the wall with Fernand Rev. They save it. No caution. Yep, no caution. Here comes Rob Rody to the inside of Jerry Nadu for second. Asher Byron continues to lead. Here's John Will. Oh my good goodness. And are we going to have actually a green flag lap at Pocono with more than 10 cars? Remember, the preseason 50, only 8 cars finished. Asher Byron will do that. He will lead the first green flag lap of the day. Hopefully. Yes, he will. Carrie Earnhardt's in the top 10. Wow. Rob Rody, can he avenge his Darlington finish? He almost won, but got passed by Kurt Busch and finished second. He's trying to catch Byron. As he actually has the fastest lap, but we're about to see a new fastest lap because we finally had more than one green flag lap for once. James Carson getting a push into 8th place by Fred. But Fred's going to die to the inside. They're 3 wide. Oh, gosh. Jarrett back off. Jarrett back off. Jarrett back off. Oh, they're spinning for Nanrev. Monroe saves it. 
Fernandez hard in the wall, no caution. Fernandez probably gonna go into pit road now. Hard hit by the 23. Yeah, look at this new fastest lap. And it's Carrie Earnhardt that's gonna take it. Asher Byron continues to lead. I believe Rody is closing in. Whoa, got rookie battle here. That's, oh, we got a spin. Rutherford, Jarrett, and Valmeteor. Oh, Abel barely dodged. What a legend. Crash on lap 18. Oh, and Rody's going to get around Asher Byron. Rob Rody is going to win back to the caution. Dale Jarrett. Oh. Got underdogs, man. Jimmy Reed's got right side damage, but Rob Rohde is going to win back to the caution. Excuse me again. So what happened to the 27 car? They went three wide. Chev, oh, just, ah, oh, Carson just tapped him and that's one of them around. Jared got a hard hit and then, wow, look at that 14 and 38 just dodge them. James Meteor's out of the race with an engine issue. Is there back in pit road? Is there any other rookies left in this race? Uh, no, Aaron Abel's gone. Nope. No, he's still in here. He just probably didn't pit. We have a total of three rookies still in the race, and two of them decided not to pit. Oh, Nadu's out first again. John Will. Oh, Rody's going to beat them all off. Some are going... I don't know what they're doing, man. Some are doing different strategies. John Will. In contention for a top 10 is Noel. Looks like top 5 did not pit. That's Abel, Dry, Fred, Carrier, and Hart. And Noel, who has a two wins. Chev is gone. Chev decided to retire. As we have only 14 cars left. Not We haven't hit the low 8 we got in the preseason 50. So that's a good thing? Anyway, green flag is out for Noel, but here comes Fred to the inside of Kerry Earnhardt for second. They may con- Oh, crap. Oh, man. Rookie's gonna wreck. No, Abel's in the wall, Reveler. Oh, hard impact by Abel. Noel continues to lead, but Fred dies, and he's gonna take second. The Penske cars are 1-2. Are 1-2. Jerry Drive in third, but here's Jerry Nadu <laughs> to the inside. The two Jerry's, man. John Will is going to go for a top five spot as Noel leads. James Carson, 14. Nice. I like that. Aaron Abel fell back to nine. What? Oh, yeah, because there's like no cards. Oh, Elliot Monroe, they're making contact. Back off, back off, and then the round it goes to 38. Oh, is he going to save it? What a save. Oh, Harvick. Ouch. Caution. Harvick just could not get away, man. Oh, Reed is in the wall. Reed. Jerry Nadu. Look at the top three are running away, but no L. Went back to the caution. Over. Fred. In Harvick's out due to the tire issue of all things. I think everyone, yeah, everyone came in. Who's gonna come out? Who's get Rody? Oh, Nadu's out again because why not? I don't think Rody's gonna beat him off this time though. Noel lost to Nadu. Nadu's had the fastest pit stops all day. Yeah, look at Fred lost three spots. Jerry Nadu will be the leader finally. He's very low in the standings. He's missed, I believe, one or two races. We almost have 10 to go. Green flag is out. I missed a bit, and we're in turn one. Gosh, they almost got wrecked. Noel almost wrecked. But here comes Rob Rohde. 
the hands down most consistent driver all day. Oops. And John Will, oh, they're, they're, oh, they're really close together. Logan Revler. So everyone racing here is guaranteed a top 12, and Abel is really slow to the advantage he has. So he wants a top 10, he needs others to wreck for him. <laughs> but Kerry Earnhardt's probably going to win Rookie of the Race if he doesn't wreck out. The top two have run away, though. Rody and Noel. Oh, drive backed off there. He he, he almost pinched it three wide with Revler and Earnhardt. As Reed sits top ten, Carson right behind him. Almost 10 laps to go here, because we're going to hit 10 to go at the line. Oh, Fred and John Will in the wall. Surprised we have 14, I mean 12 cars, none instead of 8. I don't think Rody's, he, I mean, Noel gets a better run off turn 4 than Rody, but Rody has a way better turn 2, so anything can really happen here. Check out Logan Revler, moves up to 5th. Wow. Aaron Abel is staying a bit in the draft, but he's still losing bit by bit, right? At lap after lap after bleh, lap after lap. Oh, Nadu in the wall. Asher Byron's going to go to the inside. Asher Byron's probably going to extend his points lead because he has not wrecked out like his competitors. The only other driver that's been here is Jimmy Reed, Noel. So Noel might actually take the points lead. Asher Byron. Oh, Will's around. John Will's around. No caution. 45's great day is over. Let's see what happened. Kerry just checked up and he hit him. Ah. Uh, because uh, Jimmy Reed, Asher Byron, and Noel are probably going to be the top three in points because the other contenders in the, the top 12 within a race, that's definitely going to change. As we have within lap, 10 laps to go, so they might get a bit more aggressive here. Top three have run away as Rody's within half a second. Byron is a second and a half back, and everyone else is behind two seconds. Aaron Abel closer to a top 10 than ever before. I mean, he got a top 10 at Texas, but he's really close right now. James Carson holds the last top 10 spot. As John Wills in pit road. Noel and Rob Rody looks like the drivers to beat as we have, I believe, eight to go at the line. Let's look at James Carson to the inside and Nadu pit. Jerry Nadu into pit road. He must have not had enough fuel. Oh man. Is this a few mileage race? I don't know what Nadu's doing. He should be already out. Well, Rody got a nice run coming off. He's got a big head of steam coming into turn two. He's got to poke. He's poking his nose down there. Oh, man. He's poking the nose. Is he going to get there? He didn't get her nicer. He didn't get there, no. Nadu's out. I mean, Aaron Abel's in the top 10. James Carson and Carrie Earnhardt battling for me. While uh, fourth through seventh are all in a tiny group right here. That's Revler, Fred, Reed, and Dry. Third, Asher Byron is actually gaining time on the top two. He was a second and a half last time I checked, and that was like two laps ago. And here he is a second back. They might have lap traffic with Jerry Nadu to deal with here. So anything can happen in these last laps. And who knows, that second group could catch up too, but they're like three seconds back, so they're probably not. But what can happen here at Pocono is ridiculously insane, as we we still have one more race at this track in this season. Oh, Rody's getting really close there. Look at that, a tenth and a half. And look at that, Asher Byron's within a second, so he's gaining so much time by at lap after lap. So we might have three contenders for the win. As who has the fastest lap? 
Carrie Earnhardt, of all people, sits eighth in this rookie of the race. I think he got rookie of the race before. I don't remember which track, if I was right, or if I'm right or not. We're coming to the five laps to go, Mark. Noel has probably led the most laps out of anyone today. His revelers in the wall almost collects Jimmy Reed in a wreck. Can Noel get three wins on the season after having a massive wreck at Dover? He is looking to redeem himself after leading a few laps there. As Rody lost some time. Yeah, he lost like a whole tenth that lap. And Byron is closing in more. Can Noel get around Jerry Nadu with ease? Nadu's going to block. Oh, this is Robert. Do you see him closing in? You could see it right there. And Nadu's actually faster for some reason. And Byron close in and steal and win. Asher Byron has not won this season. And here comes Noel to the inside of Nadu. Oh, here comes Rody to the inside. Pass for the lead and possibly for the win with five laps to go. Can he get there? And Asher Byron's going to follow. Rob Rohde will take the lead with five laps to go. And Asher Byron, you got three contenders for the win. As the second group is continually losing time. As look at them four seconds back, basically. As Rob Rohde continues, he's led that lap. But Asher Byron is going to go to the inside and take the lead after being almost two seconds back, like five laps ago. Here he is in the lead. Yeah, look at that lap time difference between Rody and Byron. Here comes Noel back to the inside, but they can't get around Nadu yet. They haven't gone around Nadu. Nadu's still on the lead lap. Uh, 50 sec 51 seconds back. Aaron Abel in the top 10. And Abel's really far behind. Is Carson still trying to get around Kerry Earnhardt? Jerry Drive moves at the 4th. Here we go, 3 laps to go. They started to get a little spread out there. Let's look at this lap time last lap. And here it is this lap. Yeah, Rody lost like f a whole half second there. Byron looks like he's going to try to be the first to get around Jerry Nadu. Uh, he's not going to. There's no L's behind him. Rody wants to see side-by-side -side racing, which he's about to see. Noel goes to the inside of Asher Byron. is going to be a great final lap, hopefully. We're coming to two to go. Byron clipped the wall there. Nadu's running away. Rody to the inside of Asher. Asher needs to get down the inside if he wants to have a chance. They're back to what it was about three laps ago. No L back to the lead with two to go. I think, wait, yeah, Kerry Earnhardt just ran out of fuel. He's in the pit road. Kerry Earnhardt back in the pit road due to a fuel mileage disadvantage. He's going to lose the ninth spot to Aaron Abel. And K James Carson up to eighth. We're coming to the white flag. Can Noel get around Jerry? Or is he going to lose time? Oh, here we go. We're going to have an intense final lap, guys. One. Okay. Nadu's still keeping his lead lap in 11. 12, 12 cars racing. One lap to go at, in the Pocono 500. No L leads. Is, are they going to actually get around Jerry Nadu finally? I think they are. Byron to the inside. Yes, they are finally going to get around the 01. And that's probably going to cause Rody disadvantage unless Nadu gets a nice run. This could screw up the 16. Yeah, that's probably the nail in the coffin right there. Can Asher Byron keep it? Can he get there? He's got one turn. I don't think he's going to catch him. No L is going to come off the final corner and become the first sign of driver. In the series to get three wins in a season. I thought it was going to be closer. Yeah, look at that.
Noel gets the win. Asher Byron and Rob Rudy, those were the cars to beat. Jerry Dry, Fred Reed, and Revler couldn't keep up. Carson Nabs eighth. Aaron Abel gets his ties his best finish ever with ninth. Kerry Earnhardt stays on the lead lap with the top ten. Jerry Nadu and John Will get eleventh and twelfth. And here's all the cars that died. No L. As here are your finishing results. No L easily labs the most laps at a, at sixteen. Five cautions compared to like the billion in the preseason fifty for twenty laps. So half the race exactly basically was under caution. Eleven lead changes over seven drivers. Asher Byron leads eleven laps. Rody leads three only. Aaron Abel led three. Nadu led three. Jarrett led two. While Josh Turner led two laps as well. Um, what a race! And what's the points? Wow, one point separate Noel and Asher Byron. Seven top tens for each of them. Jim Sales, the only other one with seven. But Noel has six top fives. And the reason why he's one point is because he has five DNFs. And Asher Byron has missed the Daytona 500. So not the top 12 within a race now. It's only the top six. And that's Byron, Noel, Harvick, Reed, Sales, and Craven. While Lolo's are Jared, Grogu, Drake, Zena, Green, and MC and the others are not too far behind. And now let's check out Rookie of the Year after that. The leading rookie after Pocono is still Zhang Zina, who sits 11 with one top five, a pole, four top tens, and eight DNFs with only three laps led, all at Talladega, I believe. Next is Rob Rohde, who has zero wins, zero uh, poles, two top fives, which was here in Darlington, three top tens, and Martinsville, nine DNFs. <laughs> And only 12 laps led here in Darlington. Next is Casey Mears, who had a pole at Rockingham, I believe. One top five, three top tens, five DNFs, and 26 laps led. But he's not in the season anymore. Aaron Abel's 24th, five poles, zero wins, zero top fives, two top tens, both ninths, eight DNFs, and 29 laps led. Josh Turner, on the other hand, one pole, zero wins, one top five at the Coke 600, two top tens, six DNFs, and 34 laps led. Luke Anderson, the lowest that's made every race. And the, uh, where's Kerry Earnhardt? 45th in points, six, in six starts, has two top tens and a DNF with no laps led. Um, okay. Sure. Can Robbie Gordon make a race? I don't I doubt it. He led five laps. Nadu Nabs is thirty first in points. James Carson moves up to thirty third, passing Kurt Bush. <laughs> and yeah. Nine hundred and thirty two laps, while the most laps completed is Asher Byron, with the least laps completed being Mark Martin at two. Anyway, guys, next the next stretch of races is going to be pretty fun. Next is Michigan. That's what I'm looking forward to. So I hope you like this video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.